peace and love to your family. Hello, my queens. Hello, my kings. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope many of you are having an awesome, fabulous weekend. All right. And as well as um, an awesome new month. All right. Um, before I get started, I'm going to give our honor to the Most High God, the true living God, Yahweh. All right. Um, I'm not going to make this video long. I really am not. I'm out here just doing a little sun gazing. And um, I'm, not, I'm not like planting my feet on Mother Earth. I have these shoes on, as you see. I don't know if you can see I got these shoes on. But um, when the sun is like this, I like to... Um, I can, I can see it's like between the trees, shall I say. But I do like to stand on the cement while I'm um, staring at the sun. Uh, I love the feel of Mother Earth, so that's what I'm going to do. My uh, leg is a little ashy, but it's all good. This message is not about me. Um, family, uh, I just want, I just want to um, bring something to your attention, all right? Uh, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, like I said, um, it's an honor to make these videos. It's, you know, to have a purpose and to share your light and to, and to be able to share my testimony. All right. Um, I know it is inspiring many of you and it's helping many of you. All right. Um, but please know, I, I just want to put this out there. Um, maybe some people don't care, but I do care. Um, as honored as I am, family, uh, Appreciate, appreciate many of you, um, your, the viewers, and as well as the subscribers. Appreciate your love and support, which means a lot to a sister. Um, I don't want you to look at me as no, um, some don't bit me, but I don't want you look, to look up to me as some kind of spiritual leader. Uh, I'm not saying all of you do, um, but you know, it's always that one or that two. Um, I'm just your sister, all right? I'm in this journey with you, having a, a spiritual awakening and, you know, growing and, figure, and trying to figure things out just like you are. Um, like I said, some of us are more um, experienced than others as far as, um, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know if that's the word I want to use, experience, because I don't like to consider myself like I'm so up here and somebody's just down here, but I'm just saying as far as um, some of us are just more, um, I'm going to use this word, okay? And and I'm sure many of you will receive this in love. I'm going to say advance without spiritual growth. I say that, all right? Some of us are more than others, all right? Because some of you are not having no experiences at all. But you may consider yourself as being spiritual. And um, that's okay as well. Um, ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty. Seeing that violet. But anyway, I'm just trying to make a point, family. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I appreciate the love and the light that many of you have been sharing with me, as well as sharing your own experiences. And that's what it's all about. You know, my platform is not to not only share my experiences, my testimony, but to also let it be a platform for any of you to share your testimony and your experiences as far as, you know, you relating to your sister, all right? But, you know, there are many people, you know, they start watching somebody and they get fascinated with them. And, um, and I'm seeing many as some, not everybody. And they um, look up to them so much that it's like they put so much of their energy into that person. And please know the devices do carry energy, okay, whether it's positive or negative, all right? I prefer to see, I prefer to receive the positive energy. Cause like I said, when I'm watching people, due to the fact I'm so sensitive, if I pick up on negative energy from that video, I'm gonna stop looking at it immediately. But I'm always surrounding myself with um, light, you know, put a protective shield around me regardless. But I'm just saying um, that's just the way it is. But getting back to the point I'm trying to make is um, many people look up to people that they consider like spiritual leaders because these people are coming off 
um, knowing something that they don't know or they, the fact that they're not there yet, um, they're learning a lot from them. And that's fine. But my thing is, family, don't give people too much of your power, too much of your energy, okay? Uh, there are a lot of energy, energy vent piles out here. And, and then a lot of them are not really trying to harm people. But they still not your best interest if they don't put it out there to let you know the things that I'm getting ready to tell you. To let you know to uh, watch your energy, protect your energy. All right, family? Um, you know, it's a lot of people that look up to these pastors, you know, these spiritual leaders. And, you know... That's not good because they are just man. So like, I'm your sister. You know, uh, I'm still in the flesh, all right? I am having an experience. But the difference between me and your pastor is he's pre preaching slash teaching from a book, uh, which is the Bible, all right? <coughs> or if it's not the Bible, or, or whoever your spiritual um, leader is, shall I say, or whoever it is that you look up to, you know, they pretty much, you know... You pretty much look up to them. That's all I'm saying. But some people, some people really put all they all in that person. Like they can do no wrong. Like they're perfect, and you know, um, they're trying to draw. So they're trying to draw from that person's, you know, so much information, so much knowledge that it's like they're looking outside themselves so much. That's why I'm always telling your family go within yourself. That's where the kingdom is, and that's where you're going to receive your answers, family. That is exactly where you're going where you're going to receive your answers. Uh, I had checked out this um, video on YouTube, and uh, this man had, had uploaded a video um, to, um, I've, I've got how he titled it, all right? I'm going to make sure I put it down there in the um, comment, well, not the comments, but in the description section so many of you can check it out. Um, he, he, hip, he, he does a hypnosis, he hypnosis you, and... Uh, to me, you don't really go too much in no, hip, in no hypnotic state, but you feel you do feel relaxed. But anyway, he, he's trying to um, get, get you to that place of meditation to where you're so relaxed that you can see your higher self. All right? And I think it's a, a wonderful um, technique, exercise, family. Uh, even though I see my higher self, uh, I did it anyway because, like I said, I, I didn't sense anything um, um, negative about it. Uh, I read the comments first, and then, I, of course, I... I, you know, uh, got the okay from my higher self to check it out, and it's it's nothing to harm your family. I, I, it just a, it just really a meditation exercise. But I'm going to uh, put that down there. I'll be looking forward for whomever is um, interested. Uh, that's a, uh, another technique and exercise if you want to tap into um, to that place, that quiet place. Cause you definitely, definitely get quiet inside, and uh, you know, quiet your mind, shall I say. But uh, it, it, it should help you. It should help you at least get an idea of what your sister been saying as far as seeing your higher self. Some people say it don't work for them, but some people say it do. Um, for me, I didn't use that technique to see my higher self. Um, I would say for me, after I had a kundalini, okay, just to be honest with you, family, I know I haven't said it before, but after I had my kundalini, um, that's when everything just went from went from there okay uh that, that kundalini just did it for me you know um my world just turned upside down but for the better all right for the better but uh i'm just saying this exercise can really help you okay um just to get to that place of um you know teaching you how to you know calm yourself and get in that quiet space and to uh quiet your mind and get to that place of lighting up to at least you can see your higher self so um basically what i was seeing i was pretty much seeing you know my uh family um i, I call everybody my family family when i go with them myself they just mean but i was pretty much i saw my higher self which i always do in a way i saw my higher self as well i saw um some other uh interdimensional beings slash um i saw people that were on the higher realms all right um i did not uh i did not um get confirmation from my higher self i'm, I'm not sure if, are these people from my past life or uh like, like my past life family or they just on a different dimension but um i feel within my being they are just from a different dimension and affecting my vibration um frequency wherever 
they were matching my vibrational frequency, shall I say. Or I was matching their vibrational frequency. Let me just get that right. I'm going to say it like that. I was matching their vibrational frequency. That's how I was able to tap into seeing them in those realms. But it was a beautiful experience. It, it was just so beautiful. Um, one walked up to me. It was a man. And he had hair on his face. And he he looked a real manly, manly, manly looking. And he walked up. And he, well, I'm, I'm just saying walked up to me. But he approached me. And he was just looking at me, and he didn't talk to me, but, you know, I guess everything is telepathically. I was feeling his emotions, and he was just looking at me with such love and longing, you know, as if he knew me, and he can't wait to see me again. I mean, he was just so happy to see me, and that's what I picked up on it. He didn't smile or anything. He was just looking at me, but I picked up on his emotion, and it was, it was a beautiful experience. I kept saying, I love you. I receive you in love. I see you in love. That's what I said to him. Um, it's just amazing when you go inside yourself, family. Can nobody tell it like you can, family? Please know, don't give your power to nobody. Please, don't give your energy to nobody. It's, it's nothing wrong with, you know, uh, caring about others and, 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 sh and sharing. That's what it's all about. You know, th that's... Uh, that's the right thing to do, okay? Because that will also increase your vibrational frequency. But what I'm saying is don't give people your power, all right? Don't be so caught up in these spiritual leaders, you know, and you lose the sight of yourself. Because we all have this within us, all right? We all have the power that is within us. And too many, and there's a lot of spiritual people, leaders, shall I say, they're not going to tell you this. A, a lot of them are enjoying being worshipped. They are enjoying you lifting them up because they're feeding off your energy. And there's nothing like the best energy, which is positive energy, that people are are are, um, are uh, pushing out to you, shall I say. That's the best feeling in the world. It's the best high in the world, all right? You can imagine these celebrities, uh, they're performing, and you got all these millions of people. I ain't going to say millions, but I say you got all these thousands, thousands of people cheering. See, all that's energy. That's energy. You know, they're taking in all that energy. And that's why they have such a big old natural high, you know, up on the stage. Because, you know, these people are feeding them their, feeding that person their energy. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is the things I can do, you can do too. Uh, like I said, my brother, like I said, my sister, just start mastering yourself. Take it one day at a time. You know, meditate a little bit. Definitely get out and sun gaze, all right? That's very important. Uh, I don't care what nobody else say. I know what works for me, all right? And you will only know what works for you unless you um, try, all right? But like I said, um, I know I sound like a broken record, but I don't care. Definitely meditate every day if possible um i did it today and it, it was a beautiful experience definitely meditate family and um you know uh, uh, let me let me real quick talk about two uh, situations i remember i didn't write them down but i remember them one of them was because maybe some of you might know the meaning of this um because everybody is gifted in their own way you know everybody has their own interpretation of dreams all right but this was not a dream i had when i was in meditation um uh, i had saw this I saw, uh, uh, I'm always seeing a lot of people, they look ancient to me because they always wearing robes. Now, I've seen some wearing white robes too, but everybody looked sort of transparent when I go with them myself. But I could not see the, the color of the robe this man was wearing. But he had facial hair, you know, he had like a goatee, you know, uh, that manly, manly look. And he had, he had like long hair, but he had a beautiful robe on, but I don't know the color of it because he looked transparent looking, looking. And there were people around him, right? And he looked at me, and his hand went out like this, like this. And I reached out my hand to him. Now, you can do this, family. When you see people, when you go through yourself, and, and they communicate with you, um, you, imagine your hand raising up. Imagine your hands, right, I'm saying raising up, rising up like this. Well, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, raise your hand up. But, but thank it. Raise your hand up and then and then look. You're going to see an arm and it's going to look transparent, but it's going to look bright. It's going to look real bright. But anyway, uh, I'm always seeing my arm and it, it, it looks like I'm in my higher form, you know, my spiritual form. Uh, it is bright, it's fluorescent looking, but there's no color. It, it just looks bright. But anyway, make a long story short. And uh, if I touched him, I couldn't feel it. All I know is I raised my arm up to him 
and you know he was kind of like paying my arm my hand on mine or whatever but um i was just trying to get his attention you know let him know i receive him in love i see him in love and he had something in his hand and it looked the egg shaped looking it was some kind of i'm gonna say an object all right and to me it my interpretation of it it looked it was the size of a football but it wasn't a football it was some kind of metallic object all right and i couldn't really say that good um but all I know is some kind of object here in his hand. And the object split open in in the center of it. Kind of like a, it was like an egg-shaped object. Um, you know those Easter eggs? Now, it didn't split open like that sideways. It, it was more like in the middle. It split open. If you can imagine a football splitting open. But it was still held together. And um, this what got me. Uh, I still, to this day, don't know what it means. But... Um, you know, I, I'm 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 gonna pray about it and try to get clarity with my higher self. But anyway, when he opened up this object, which looked like a which, which was shaped like an egg, right? Cause like I said, he was trying to communicate with me. Uh, a, a black snake had came up out of it. I saw the head. I saw the head of the black snake, and it had shot up. It, it, and half the other body was still in it was still in this object but the head shot up like this kind of might have a cobra a little bit but the head shot up and i saw a snake and think about it, i wasn't even scared because i knew i was in that realm could nothing touch me anyway and he was calm you know he was just showing me something and i was like oh man i was like higher self you know help me get clarity what do this mean you know because they were actually communicating with me trying to show me something mm -hmm. so only thing i could put together is egg snake and the egg um i don't know what that means all i know all i know is he was trying to show me something and then um sometime when i'm in that state i you know it fades out it fades out and then it goes to something else i was seeing some other things too but that was that stood out and then i remember when i was in meditation i was in this big old room and i was in all these containers of um babies in them there was a lot of babies in these containers and what came to mind the room was dark. It was a dark room. The only thing that was lit was the containers, all right? And it was a lot of containers. They was like in, in a row, stretched, just stretched back. A lot of containers, and they had babies in them, and the containers were lit up inside. So, anyway, what came to mind with me with that was, wow, you know, look at all these clones. That's, that's, that's the first, first thing that came to me, came to mind, was look at all these clones. Now, I say this family because the things that I am able to do, you, you should be able to, to do also. It's just a matter of masking yourself. Uh, a lot of the hidden things that's going on, family, whether it's underground or right or above the ground, and, you know, in these little government facilities, these, you know, uh, shadow government, you know, uh, when you're walking in love and light, all the hidden things, you know, light overshadows it. And not only that, you know, uh, the Most High God brings it to light. And he will allow you to see the hidden things, all right? Uh, the heck with CNN and all these other news. All they're talking about is health care, health care, health care, uh, politics, politics. We're about Donald Trump. We're about uh, Putin and uh, ISIS and all this other mess. All that is is to distract you from the real agenda, family. And like I said, you know, uh, I can go on and on and on, but you know what I'm, you know where I'm going from. You know where I'm going with this. You know, um, please try to stay focused and think about you. It's not about, you know, think about you and be selfish. No, but put you first. You know what I'm saying? Think about you and, and start working on you. You know what I'm saying? The true gem that you are, you know, because um, I love you, family in Christ. And, you know, uh, I know what the, what the most has God has done for me and, 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 and has allowed me to see. And I want this for you, family, because it is is possible it is possible you can go within yourself you can you know uh, see through the veil you know what I mean um, you can break through and, and get to those higher realms it is possible family it is so possible but I want you to get your power back and stop giving your power to all of these so-called religious leaders have love for them pray for them just like you pray for me but that's it you know what I'm saying you know the, the, the way you see them see that see that about yourself all right see that about yourself all right have some self-confidence and, and walk with p power and authority all right that that is within you all right it, it's pretty much building your confidence up um stop you know looking outside of yourself stop going within yourself you know uh, i'm telling you what i know family i'm telling you what i know 
And I don't care about the naysayers, you know, uh, they don't know what I'm talking about because they're not there yet. But if they, if they were there yet and they were sincere and they're about, you know, love for humanity, they would be telling you this, these things instead of thinking about themselves, you know. Uh, I receive all y'all love. I do. I receive it and I feel it. it, it it's, a, it's a beautiful feeling. But like I said, you know. Uh, watch your energy, protect your energy. Like I said, uh, you, what you want to do is build your chi energy, and you definitely want to raise your vibration, all right? Because that changes everything. It changes everything. I saw so many light ships up in the sky. It's pathetic. It's so many birds be hanging around my home now. It, 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 it just, it's, it's just such a, it's just so amazing. It's just so amazing. And there's so much more that I can tell you, but like I said, I don't want to make the videos long. I read 20 minutes. But I just want to let you know, family, you have the power as well, all right? Um, you know, the power that be, you want to keep everybody dumbed down it and keep you, and keep you so distracted. You're not even looking at yourself nor, with, nor within yourself. You know, all, all you're doing is looking outside yourself and, you know, you're being distracted. You're constantly spending, spending, spending. And we know that, you know, when you're worldly, you know, you're buying things, you're never satisfied. You always want more, 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 you know. So how about this more that you want how about you go within yourself and seek the kingdom all right seek the kingdom that is within you because trust me you can't get enough of it either it is endless it is you know it, it's no words it is no words to describe and you know, i can cry right now it is no words to describe seeing within the dimensions and seeing people that are existing in the now existing in the presence just like you are because you go within yourself there is no time but that time that i spent with these people going within myself could have been a lifetime you know all i know is that moment that i was with them i was, I was with them in the present and it's priceless it is priceless and, and, and they're trying to drop knowledge to me, not verbally, but telepathically or, well, that's how they speak telepathically. Let me just say that. But like I said, it's not telepathically, it's symbols or they're showing me things. But for the most part, they're showing me things. So, um, like I said, when it comes to the egg thing, you know, uh, maybe, you know, they're trying to relate something to me that's very important um, that I need to know. Um, could be, you know, I don't know. It could be pres the present event. Of future events things to come I don't know but like I said it was some kind of object that was shaped like a football like an egg and a snake came out of it that was so weird cuz I didn't see that coming I didn't see that coming so anyway church goers I love you too I used to go to church I don't go to church now and I'm not bad mouth in church um you know uh, I received what, what I needed to receive when I was in church uh, it just that my like I said, you know, it's a time for everything. And it was just time for me to step out of church, you know, because I knew that, I just knew it was a bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just saw too many pastors just, you know, like I said, you know, they, they read the word and they, you know, they, well, I ain't gonna go there. This, 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 this video is not for, for me to be talking about pastors. I, I can do another video on that. But, and, and, I, and, I, and I know all of them are not like that. You know, it's some good uh, astrology. It's some actual good man of God that's out here that's trying to preach a word. But, you know, with that preaching, it, there's still a lot that they're not telling you. Because if it were, they would be telling you the kingdom is within you and to meditate. And, you know, and we all know there's more to it. But they're not telling you all that. They shutting up the kingdom. That's what they're doing. But anyway, I love y'all in Christ. I thank you for checking me out. And, um, like I said, watch your energy and... Stop giving the spiritual leaders um, as well as even these conscious community uh, leaders, people that you look up to. Stop giving them your power, all right? Just, you know, show them some love, but that's it. You know, it don't take all that because, you know, the things that they can do, you can do also. The things that I've been able to see, you can see it also. It's all, it's all on the inside, family. It's all on the inside. Bye for now. I love you in Christ. Peace.